phone. I've had lots of LED headlight companies, well not lots, several LED headlight companies email me in the past saying, can we send you headlights for you to test, review, look at? And I told most of them, no, you're alright, thanks, because, you know, an LED headlight is pretty much an LED headlight now. Uh, but this set from Bosler, a Bosler, Bosler? Bosler? The fuck does it say, Bosler? These caught my eye as they do four things, they say. Well, I would say they do three things now. So they're supposed to do white, white plus yellow, yellow, and then flash. So basically, it's an LED uh, headlight with two chips on it. Well, four chips. Is it two chips or four chips? But one of them's white, one of them's yellow, and then it mixes very rude. It mixes in between them to get the desired colour. So, can we see on this? I like the, the half, half the heat sinks gold and half silver to show you the yellow. But it's not yellow because it's on both chips. Right, hold on. Uh, can we zoom in on this? Right, let's first of all remove glass. That's not glass. That's plastic. Oh no. No, nah, take it back. It is glass. It broke. Anyway, remove glass. It's literally, it says on it. Can you see? Can you? Can you? Can you focus? Remove glass. Glass removed. And maybe I have to zoom in a bit here. Zoom. Zoom, bitch. Okay, on the head of the LED, You'll notice the two cobs are slightly different colours, one of which will be the yellow and one will be the white, and that's the gold side, and if we turn it around to the silver side, you'll see this side also has two different colours, one being yellow and one being white. What it does is, when it's in white, obviously the white LED lights, and then when you want I suppose it's like half and half, it'll put white and yellow on, and you'll get not quite bright white, you'll get kind of yellowy, what colour do they say? They say white six and a half thousand, warm, warm yellow is 4,300, and yellow is 3,000. So, white on, white and yellow, yellow, and then flashing. So I've got two headlights in the box, and this is the driver. Uh, well, kit, pack, box, I saw somebody refer to it as the resistor pack, but it's not the resistor pack, I mean it literally says, I'm sure the instructions, if you have CAN bus, these won't work. All this is doing is taking the input from your light switch, because you like switch on and switch on and off, switch on and off, switch on and off, and it goes through the modes, and that just changes the mode of the LED, because it's got fo f fucking focus, four pin outlet, out output, outlet, four pin outlet, that matches the four pins on the light. Right, let's stop talking and plug these in and see what they actually look like and how much power they consume. Again. Right, it's in. It screws in. It kind of screws in. There it goes. Marvellous. And here we have that set up. So, let's get some Power on the go here. Hush, princess. One of them, one of them, some electricity. Let's have positive and negative. We'll oh, fire you up, but whoo! It's, ah, ah, I forgot it's got a fan at the bottom. Mind your fingers, folks, mind your fingers. Right, so. Let's point that somewhere that's not directly at the camera. That's white. Uh, I've not thought about this. I need to unplug it and plug it back in quickly to go to half and half. It's, it's pretty bright. Uh, oh, there's, there's half and half. Yes, the camera is colour locked, so the colour you see, like the white balance in the camera won't change, so this is the colour that it's changed to, which is it's just off, it's just off white, and then... Ah, oh, that's flashing, I'm going right through. Does it go back to white? 
Right, let me see if I can do this with one hand. White. Uh, not quite white, but kind of yellow. And yellow. Wow, yellow's really yellow. Jesus. And then, use as you saw there. Oh. Flashing mode. Distress. SOS. Oh, also, wait, can you, can you hear this? Someone didn't think about that. Well, I don't suppose it matters, but... The fan is pulsing, as well as... The LED, right? Stop it before people have an epileptic fit. Okay, so let's focus on some numbers now. Let me point the camera over there at the the meter, not the meter. Power supply. Power supply. Let me get the bulb in shot a bit. For it. right, so white. And then take it back at the shot. So that's 14 volts, and that's. 1.8 amps? That seems excessive, is it not? I mean, it's sure it's bright and all. Right, so that's 1.8 amps with white. Half and half, still 1.8 amps. Okay, I wasn't going to expect it to be using the two chips at the same time we would draw more current, but that does not appear to be the case. Ah, it's skipped and gone straight to flashing, which is... Still 1.8, right, where's, I want yellow. Right, there's yellow. Okay, so it's just 1.8 amps. Uh, let's do the power calculations. P equals I times V. Uh, I, we'll just call it two amps. V, voltage, 14. Two times 14, that's 28 watts, if my maths are correct. Yeah, so, uh, this is a this is an H7, so for H7s you usually have to take this base plate off, affix this to the vehicle, and then poke the bulb through, and then you have to spend some time spinning it round to see which way actually gets the light to come out correct in your car. But uh, usually it doesn't, cause normal reflector headlamps aren't designed to be used with. LED chips, they're never usually in the right place and you get beam scatter and you blind everyone and I don't really recommend using them in non-projector style headlights I've got projector style headlights in my car, that's why I've been using LED bulbs because you get a rock solid cut off, there's no light above it, it's nice and perfect Would I use these as a headlight bulb? Mm, probably not because the colour change thing, that's it's not really useful. I mean, I know they've got it for, like, ooh, driving in fog, etc, etc. Well, these would be better as fog lights then. And then you can switch them into yellow mode for foggy raininess on white when you just want bright white. I mean, they're nice. They're, well, I say they appear to be well made. It's an LED headlight. It's just, it's actually got something different in it does different colours, which is, hey, it was something different. I thought you might like to see something a little bit different. And as it's a multicolour LED hit, I say multicolour, it's not multicolour. They do do a multicolour one, I suppose, uh, I haven't seen it yet, it's an RGB one. But these, these I think would make better fog lights. Well, I thought I might as well show you them on the car. So these are the, well, on the right is my standard 6,500k and on the left is the Bosla 6,500k. Right, I've turned the headlight on and off and that's now switched it down to the 4,300k which is the white chip and the yellow chip on at the same time. On and off once more, that switches on to the full yellow which is 3,000k and it's, uh, yeah, it's, that's pretty yellow, that's like proper old school fog light yellow. And then on and off again, puts it onto its flashing mode. It just flashes on and off, as you can see. It's, I mean, it's, it's noticeable, it's bright, it's a very bright light. And then you turn it on and off, and you're back to white at the start again. And there's a thing like, if you leave it for, I think it's like three seconds on off, it'll automatically go back to being in white mode. I don't know how well it shows up in the video, but you can see that the light is a slight delay in coming on. It wouldn't matter if you've got two of the headlights installed, same. 
not like in mine where it's got one in one. But anyway, I hope you found that somewhat interesting or perhaps even useful. Thanks for watching, guys.